Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for coming back to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Hey, so today we're talking about not my gear loadout. So most of the time on uh, backpacking trips and that kind of thing, I usually tell you about my gear loadout. But today we're talking about somebody else's gear loadout. We're talking about this guy right here. Uh, you may recognize him. I mean, how could you not? Look at that <laughs> beard. Are you kidding me? He actually doesn't carry um, a backpack. He carries all of his gear in his beard. Is that true? You know, not quite, but I do forego the top quilt. And I just kind of pull that down <laughs> and it gets plenty of warm. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so seriously though, I, I bet you there's a lot of people out there that kind of want to know what the owner of an outdoor company like Outdoor Vitals actually brings on a trip. You want to walk through? He has not rehearsed this. Totally, I, I, this is kind of like blindsided, like, hey, I'm going to do a gear load out of your stuff. Are you okay with it? Oh yeah, sure. So it's down and dirty. So here we go. <laughs> So what do we got? Let's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll start with what I got over here really quick. Okay. I package all of my food in like a gallon size Ziploc for the day. So I've got that in there and then I run an alcohol stove. So a titanium alcohol stove. Um, have a lot of fun with that. Plus it's just super light for when you're doing like a couple days at a time. And then I run a Garmin GPS so I can text my awesome wife. Other than that, I've got our backpack right here. This is a prototype pack um, that's coming out very, very soon. And man, I'll just, I don't know, you can see all sorts of stuff going on here. I got socks hanging out, drying on the outside here. I got uh, wag bags, cause we're in some national park stuff. Wag bag is what you poop in when they don't allow you to poop around the area. <laughs> this, uh, that's a little piece that I use to filter out of my catadine filter that I've got tucked over here. So it's a gravity filter, right? Yeah, so if I want a gravity filter, there we go. So yeah, if I want a gravity filter, I can just screw that on there and, and then on the other end of my bottle, I got some glasses so I can look like Dan on the trail and a battery bank. And then, I mean, coming in here, I, I always leave that on the outside because sometimes you need it quick. That's my, oh. that's my TP. <laughs> the, the TP for the PP. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Open it up in here, I've just got a few more meals. Um, I, I only carry spares of one thing our dragon wool underwear so i always carry something to switch out there and then you saw the socks those are the only two things that i will rotate on the trail okay i've got our loft tech jacket it's just a bomb proof jacket so that's always with me um out, that's an outdoor vitals loft tech jacket by the way right yes yeah okay. that's that's a jacket that we kickstarted and raised a million dollars in pre-funding so it's been it's been an awesome jacket um and then this is something new too that's the thermals dance talked about those i think in a video but i zipped them off this morning so that you're like what is this <laughs> That, that that is an unzipped thermal right? thermal underwear those are legit though he did he did not even have to take his pants off i look over and he it was I, like <laughs> what are you doing wow yeah, that was awesome yeah. i i usually wear them under pants but i had them under my shorts today and i was like yeah i can just pull those right out so zip those off this morning once we were about to start hiking and then <clears throat> i've got a pillow this is a little down beanie okay um, and I, I like it because even when it's not, it was too hot last night, but it's a little too big. It's from uh, outdoor uh, research. And so it pulls right over my eyes and just blacks it out. And I love it because they can yeah. like, full moon on my tent, whatever, blacked yeah. out. And it goes over my ears so I can't hear uh, Dan snoring. Did you, and, did you show them your uh, bunny slippers that you wore last night too when you came out of no, You made fun of me so much I burned them. No. <laughs> So that's most of it. And then this, um, that's a like a first aid kit that I take all the time. Just got some, I mean, all sorts of things like rope and fire starters, but also it's got a little bit of medical stuff. I had to use some of it today because they made me hike like five miles in water and I got some, some little sore tender spots. So I bet you I got some B-roll that I could play about right here. This is where we're going today. Five miles, baby. And then other than that, a lot of the time when we're going on trips like this, we're out testing gear. So um, we can take over to my tent, but we've yeah. got a prototype tent. You want to just walk over there? Yeah, let's right. see it. I want to see the tent. Wait, right. what do you got for shoes here? What oh, are yeah, these? yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is actually the back panel in the shadow light backpack that I've got my feet on, which I love to bring. Okay, so the backpack, this yes. is a prototype backpack you guys are working on. Yeah, we have... Tell me about this backpack though, because you were telling me about this backpack earlier and it's it's actually really cool yeah yeah it's 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 awesome it's got a 24 inch frame the whole purpose of this backpack is to be super approachable but still be ultra light so it's sub two pounds it comes in a 45 and a 60 um and then it's just it's just going to be way more approachable because you've got extra things like 
more pocketing systems. You've got a full length zipper here where you can get into the bottom of your pack and, and just different things like that. Plus you've got a taller frame. So if you're someone, today we, I was carrying six liters of water because it's stinking hot out here and I know Dan's gonna run out of water. So I brought some <laughs> extra water, that gets heavy. That's 13 plus pounds of water plus my gear. And so this frame is a lifesaver because of its height, gets over my shoulders and picks up the load. And then the, one of the coolest things about this is down here, you can see this, this material right here. This is actually Robic Nylon, which a lot of you have seen on other packs. It's a great thing, but it's also got Spectra woven into the ripstop grid. And Spectra is something, you'd, you'd know it better, like a competing company to it would be Dyneema. So it's really cool because it kind of gives you the best of both worlds between a nylon um, fabric and a Dyneema. Now, because this is a prototype, don't mind the color, um, but both this and this are just gonna be different weights of that Dyneema Robic um, ripstop fabric. So pretty dang awesome. There's tons more to go into, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, just a quick and dirty on it. Awesome. So, um, oh, really quick, in my hip belts down here, that's where I carry my crack that I've been telling Dan about. Got like all my hydration stuff that keep him moving on the trail. It's not really crack, okay? <laughs> it's not really crack. It's super awesome drink mix stuff that makes you hike way better than normal. <laughs> Yeah, keys clipped in there, sunscreen, and then on this side I've got like some headphones that I'll pop in at night and my headlamp. So, oh, and I got this, some pyro putty from a, uh, something that we do and just uh, if you ever need it, it's there. So, yeah, and then down here I'm running currently some Innovate shoes. They are some tough shoes, I've really liked them. They breathe well and it worked really well for me. I've got darn tough socks and these are our Satu adventure shorts so dan's wearing our pants i got the shorts on um, they've been pretty awesome this trip they've dried we got them pretty i got mine pretty wet down here and they dried out quick and then a dragon wool hoodie on so very cool all right let's go check out this uh prototype tent okay so this is the prototype this is a one person tent right yeah this is the one okay yeah so it's been pretty solid out here we've uh we've had some trouble making sure we get all the stakes in but i'll kind of open this up real quick and so you got one vestibule on this, and then on the inside here, I'm running our big, thick pad. Um, for me, a lot of like, for me to be a good pad, like it just has to be three plus inches thick. I'm a side sleeper; I need it to be thick. This has made a big, just a world of difference to have a thick, thick pad. So I'm running our, our long, wide pad, and then I'm running our 15 degree top quilt. Um, I really like to run this, especially like in a desert setting like this, because they're so easy to vent compared to a sleeping bag. So you kind of see the space in there. And then I was running a nice boonie hat today. So, and the, it's so hot. I get sunburned. I don't know if you knew that, but I'm probably red right now, to be honest. So he did look <laughs> super cool in that hat. I was the most stylish guy in the canyon, right? So yeah, so that that's that's it, man. That's my whole setup. So what is this made out of this tent? So this is a 15 denier nylon. It's a ripstop nylon. Did you already say that? No, I, okay. I didn't say that. Um, you know, the floor is going to be bathtub taped. It's just going to come that way. Um, it does use two trekking poles, and that just gives you a lot more headroom out of this one person size tent. And then, yeah, I can't really, I can't say too much about it because it's not officially released yet, but we're stoked about it. It's, yeah, it looks it's pretty super awesome. light. What's it weigh? So this one, I believe, is coming in at around 26 ounces maybe wow. less maybe more but right in that ballpark so so yeah for a lot of you guys that you know have seen maybe our other tent it cuts off like half the tent weight to move to this style of trekking pole tent um and then yeah we just the venting on it has been phenomenal so that's a big part when you're going to a single wall trekking can i ask you another quick question yeah does your beard fit in the tent barely that's why we have to have two poles actually i yeah. tried it with tried it with one i was like brigham he's our designer i'm like we got it we got it Gotta add that extra pole. <laughs> a, and look at look at look at who set it up correctly. Look at this. I love when people set up these guy lines correctly. They use a stick properly, using an actual uh, guy line to pull it away from this because this is meant to just open up the tent. Am I right? Yeah. It, it, I mean, it, it is a bit of a tie. We try to reinforce ours a bit, but yeah, it's definitely it creates a lot more room in there, especially when you're laying and your head's like right here. It just gives you that space right over your head to breathe and, and have room or to keep your feet from touching the end of it. So. Awesome. Cool. Anything else? 
Uh, Dan has been all right to hike with. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's been pretty cool. I think we're going to end this right here. <laughs> all right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the uh, bell notification so that I can send you a video every time it's released. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure I put that right here, and I will see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>